All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick's on the Power. So I want to make a video about this bodybuilder by the name of Manohar Ake. And previously, uh, prior to 2016, this guy was the oldest living bodybuilder at 104 years old. Uh, but I learned that recently in this past year, he has passed away. So he died of age-related complications at 104, which I guess is to be expected when you're over 100 years old, that old age is going to be a fairly common cause of death. But I thought this guy was definitely worthy of a video because I had seen, you know, the old articles and posts about him back in the day when he was still alive. The fact that he was the oldest living bodybuilder. Um, now he, now that he's passed away, I feel like it's kind of sad and I wanted to make a tribute video to him kind of going over his past accomplishments. Um, so one of his most uh, noteworthy accomplishments was winning the Mr. Universe competition in 1952. And this was, of course, the NABA Mr. Universe, not the IFPB or the AAU. Now, different articles actually report differently on Manohar. Uh, some people say he was the first ever Indian to win a Mr. Universe competition. But some other articles claim he was the second Indian Mr. Universe. I'm not sure which one of those two is actually true because there's several websites that say he's the first and then there's several that say he's the second. But none of these sites actually claim who the other guy would have been that would be the first Indian Mr. Universe. I do know of Prem Chand Dagra. But he won uh, in 1988, so that would have been after. And also, that was not the NABA Mystery Universe that Prem Chan won. It was the IFBB Mystery Universe, so two different Mystery Universes, um, and it is important to make that distinction. Now, the other interesting thing about Manohar, despite the fact that he lived to 104 years old, um, he has another pretty interesting stat, which is the fact that he was only 4 foot 11 inches tall um, when he was a competitive bodybuilder. So a lot of people called him Pocket Hercules. That was his bodybuilding nickname. Um, so we have the big Ramis of the world, and then we have the Pocket Herculeses of the world as well. Now, overall, from the pictures that I've seen of him from the 1950s as a bodybuilder, his physique was actually very impressive. Um, but I'm actually more impressed by the fact that he aged so gracefully and even into his 90s and 100s, you could still see he had some very prominent bicep definition. He constantly hit these front double biceps. So I'm even more impressed um, by how his physique looked later in life than how it did early in life. But as far as how he looked in the 50s, he had a pretty good physique from what I can tell. I mean, in the 50s, you didn't really have any mass monsters. You didn't have any really overly muscular guys. Most of these guys just look slightly better than the average gym rat now, I would say. Um, you know, this, the steroid technology really wasn't where it's at today. Obviously, they didn't have the type of supplementation that we have today, nor did they have the type of equipment that we have today. So it's important to keep that in mind when looking at pictures from bodybuilders um, from as far back as the 50s because they had a very, very different um, tool set to work with when building their bodies in terms of nutrition and actual equipment. So this photo that you're looking at here where he's hitting a crucifix pose, this is actually Manohar at age 90. Yes, you heard that correctly, 90 years old. So that's what I mean by I'm more impressed by his physique later in life because that is an impressive, impressive physique. For anybody, I would say over the age of you know even 50, I mean, that is an impressive physique for age 90, and that's the most impressive part uh, of really his stories. I think the way that he was able to age, um, it's just, just absolutely incredible. So in addition to bodybuilding, he actually served in the Royal Air Force, um, and then he began his pursuit to bodybuilding. Um, he's also spent a short time in jail for protesting some political things that were going on at the time. Um, so he also had that. But primarily, he's known for being a bodybuilder known as Pocket Hercules um, and very famous amongst the Indian bodybuilding fans. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.